All week long, we're celebrating Baby Week here at 13 On Your Side Mornings. And fur babies might have come along before actual babies. So how do you introduce the two? Especially when pets always have a personality of their own. Well, we caught up with the experts for some tips. It's hard for them to adjust because of the baby or the toddler, once they grow older, the behavior that they have. So usually their movements are not something that's predictable, um, especially with toddlers because they can run around or if they're starting to crawl or rolling over, that kind of thing. And that might not be something that the animal's used to because adults, they can usually predict what they're actually doing. Yes! Typical issues can arise with things such as toys or a dog feeling trapped by a child, cornered, something like that. Um, and then diapers is also something that can be an issue because they may be interested in those, which can be harmful when ingested. What you should do is if you can have somebody else that's not living in the household bring that child in and you greet your dogs as normal so they don't think anything is necessarily different um, and then slowly introducing um, and also a good idea is to get stuff out early so if you have a bouncy seat or a stroller walk with them with the stroller without the baby being born yet kind of get them used to those kind of things so those sounds uh, those movements they're going to be used to in the home so uh, I have to tell you, first, the majority, those were my two dogs, the little white one and then Marty, the little blue healer mix. Adorable. Adorable. Henry is pretty bad though. So that's really, I was like, we need help. Yeah. So we've actually scheduled a time for Lindsay. Lindsay was in there. I was Jenny talking, but Lindsay was the trainer. She's actually going to come back and kind of help us a little bit more get um, get them ready because I am a little, little worried about him. Keep a close eye on that baby poop. Dog lo dogs love baby poop. They love any kind of poop. Henry rolls in it every morning and I was like, why is, why do you have a racing stripe down the back of you? You know who doesn't like baby poop? Cats. James. James, also, James, also, also, James doesn't like it either. Cats and James do not like baby poop whatsoever. But if you are looking, if you are about to have a baby or in the future and you're curious some, some ways that you can kind of get your pets ready for that, uh, I know the Humane Society has a class that they do every about three months also uh, to kind of give you some pointers and help you with your dog. You can bring your dog, you do it. So definitely some resources out there. Awesome. And uh, we'll have more online after the show about that as well.